Collins, one minute. Minister, the, the ploughing championships is on over three days of this week, as we're all well aware, and it's right. a central theme of discussion at the ploughing championships is the whole issue of crime and obviously rural crime, given the nature of the event. And that in itself is a huge indictment of government and a statement from rural Ireland as to how bad the situation is. And I think you need to wake up and you know, really take notice of that. In relation to Garda numbers, I would say there were more Gardaí outside Leinster House today for a phantom protest than you will have in large parts of rural Ireland tonight, and that's simply not acceptable. We need to have more recruitment, Minister. We just need to have more recruitment, back up to 14,000. The fact that the moratorium was held in place whilst you continue to recruit into the Defence Forces was simply not acceptable. And the, the Garda reserves are being underutilised. We should increase the number of Garda reserves, bring more Garda reserves into the mainstream force. A lot of them are being locked out as part of the recruitment process, which isn't acceptable. They're giving of their time and of their service. And I think we need to increase the numbers up to at least 2,000 Garda reserves. So these are issues that I want you to take on board. And when you're replying, Minister, maybe you can address this question to me. And if you can't, you might get the information afterwards. There have been some suggestions that up to 40 per cent of uh, directions to prosecute uh, and prosecutions taken have resulted in acquittals. This is in relation to, to burglaries and related offences. So can you outline the percentage of prosecutions Thank directed you. by the DPP in the last 12 months which, have, you, uh, which haven't resulted in convictions? Thank you, Deputy. And you can Minister revert to me afterwards, Minister, Two if you minutes. want to. Uh, I'd just like to remind Deputy Collins that uh, rural crime did not commence when this government took over. That's, and, uh, that's acknowledged, and, but it has increased. But at the same time... Minister, to reply. Uh, the, there were other operations by the Gardaí in the past, as you know full well. They were quite effective yeah. in, again, uh, I suppose, getting the terms of rural crime. Um, just on behalf of the Minister, again, I would like to thank the deputies for raising these important matters here this evening and for referring as well to specific cases. And I certainly will be very happy to share these points that they made with the Minister uh, tomorrow when I meet her. And if Deputy Collins has specific questions, I will certainly uh, bring them to our attention and get a reply from him, for him. I have already set out a comprehensive strategy being implemented by the Minister and by the Garda Commissioner to confront those who engage in burglary and similar crimes at the expense of the law-abiding majority of our people. Before we conclude, I might also mention that in addition to the new legislation introduced by the Minister to specifically target burglary, the heads of the new bail bill were published in July. This bill aims to further strengthen the law to protect the public against crimes committed by offenders out on bail. Furthermore, as well as pursuing a robust strategy to disrupt criminal gangs engaged in burglary, Magadha Shikana is working with communities and partners such as the Irish Farmers Association and utility companies to target other crime trends. These include the theft of the electricity cables and metal theft from dwellings, farms and business premises. In conclusion, the Minister wishes to underline her determination to continue to oppose criminals who violate people's homes. She will continue to support Ngarda Shikana, both through improved legislation and the allocation of the increased resources which the government is now providing.